So as you can see, Sticky Stein is having some success. So let me tell you how I'm having this success in a place that I've never been before. It's the first time I've ever been down here. So this is all new to me. And it's the first time I've traveled out of my area to go mushroom hunting. And that's not even all the ones I found. I found some yesterday and uh, found some this morning. And here I am with another big bag of them and a dryad saddle. So the first thing I do is I pull up my topographic map. If you don't know anything about topographic maps, you ought to learn about them. They're, I find them to be vital when you're an outdoorsman. Uh, after I pull up my topographic map, I scour it. I, I'm always looking for a river or a creek that's got a wide bank. And I'm down here in 11 Point River and I'm having some success because I found a spot that's got a wide bank and it's been blessing me so far. Oh. I found found the uh, river I wanted to go on. I found the bank. Now you got to find a campground because you got to have somewhere to put your vehicle because you're traveling away from where you're used to being at. So you don't have any friends or family nearby. You're down here all by yourself. Got to have somewhere to put your vehicle so it doesn't get towed because that's the last thing you want is to walk out of the woods with a bag full of morels and nowhere to put them. And nowhere, to, no way to get. You want to make sure that like i was saying the banks are wide you gotta if you're gonna be hiking this river you gotta know how wide the river is you gotta know where you can cross and the river that i'm on now there's nowhere to cross it so i had to choose a place that had some wide banks on both sides that if i wasn't to find so many today where i'm at i would have trucked forward or trucked backwards to another couple spots that i had plotted i spent like many nights this last week um figuring out where I wanted to be this weekend because I knew they were going to be out this weekend. I knew it. I knew it. Coming all the way from St. Louis, so I'm over three hours south of myself from where I'm from. So, and I'm still having success. I mean, look at that bag. That's not even all of them. I'm pretty excited. You still found where you're going. You, you got some spots plotted out. Now, I take screenshots or of, of the map that I'm at because where I'm at, I've got no cell phone service. In fact, I'm using... An Apple iPhone that doesn't even have service the sim cards bad in it so I just use it as basically a tablet now I'm down here and and with the topo maps by Danny on the Apple iOS I'm able to use the navigation and the GPS in it it still works perfectly good and I don't even have uh, my cell service on or nothing not like it would work anyway so I, I got down here and I just really just started walking around slowly and honestly, I found my first morel within five minutes of being in the woods. And what I noticed was that it was on one side of the tree. Now I walked about 10 more feet and I found a gray. It was a little bit taller than the uh, first two that I had, which were, uh, you know, they were turning a little red from, from heat because I think they had started popping up a little earlier. See, we had... Uh, we had some good weather, some good night weather for like a week. It's perfect for morels. And then we had a little bit of a cold front come through where it got down to upper 30s at night. Now, I went camping those nights. You can go through some of my videos. And uh, one of my more recent videos, was, which was the video right before my false morel identification video, I was camping in the cold. Now, there's no morels out, but I was going to be out anyway. I'd planned on it, and uh, it just weather hit us with some cold weather so i got my plot i'm down here i find my first one i find my second one and then i'm finding my third and fourth one and then the night ended and one thing that i noticed and then i get out today and i start finding them pretty quickly and i'm walking around walking around this area that i was finding them last night and i'm noticing that all of them are popping up on the west side of the tree now west side for me is a river now I don't know if that coincides if it's that or if it's because the Sun as you can see is up there in the western sky it's probably because of that because this you know the Sun's gonna heat up the ground and wherever the grounds gonna be the warmest mycelium is gonna be uh, colonizing there much more quick so I'm noticing that it's uh, you know pretty much every one of them is on the west side of the tree some of them are in the middle of trees. Some of them are like five, ten feet from trees. That's just the way it goes. But I'd say about 95% of my morels I've found in the last two days have been on the west side of a tree. And honestly, I'm about 
30, 40 yards from the bank now. And uh, I've been finding them. Really, this is the closest one I've found to the bank so far. All the other ones were 100 yards plus from the bank. Let's look at this little bee that I got on my I don't want to cover the screen, though. Look at that little guy. Can you focus? Let's try again. It won't focus. Anyway, well, he can hang out there until I'm done with the video. Uh, new place. Never been here. Topographic map. Capground River. Find banks that are walkable. And, and if they're not, you know, find a place where you can cross a river. You got to find a bank. You got to find a bank for these morels. At least the early season ones. Um, I've found very few on hillsides and away from rivers. I'm going to attempt it some more this year. Oh, he just flew off. I'm going to attempt more this year. More hill uh, hunting. I hear that's later season, more later season. But since I'm following the season as Sticky Stein, I don't know if I'll have a later season. I think I'm pretty much going to be hitting the beginning of the season most everywhere I go. Now, I, I have a nine to five job. I took a couple days vacation. Today's Monday, I'm off tomorrow as well. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little further north, just trying to make my way back up to St. Louis, do a little mushroom hunting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna find any tomorrow. I think it'll still be a little too far north. I'm going about a little over halfway between here and St. Louis. But uh, a couple other tips are walk away from the sun, like, it's really hard to see these morels, especially these like young, yellow, like tannish color morels when the sun is there, especially when the sun is in your eyes. So walk away from the sun. Don't ever walk towards the sun. If you're a trail, if you found a spot like I did where um, the place I originally wanted to go was east, it just wasn't feasible because it was morning time because I didn't want to be walking towards the sun. I wouldn't have found anything, I don't think. So I headed west, and boom, 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 I immediately started finding them. And this is all that i found since I started heading west. And, uh, man, I'd say I've been successful. Some of them are fresh up in the last couple days. I've seen a lot that I didn't pick because they were tiny, tiny ones, little bitty ones, coming up from this morning in the rain that we had last night. And uh, apparently they got a rain, good rain a couple nights ago before I got here. Hence, tips, uh, yeah hunt the banks hunt the banks find a good wide bank and you got to hope it's not a floodplain either because you don't want a constant place of water coming through and it washes them away now it might take those spores and take them further downstream so if you can go downstream or upstream i suggest going upstream because uh anything downstream came from upstream so get up straight. I just learned a lot just by coming and taking this trip down here out of my comfort zone. So, uh, sun of my eyes. Let's get it out of my eyes. So that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, it's 2019. It's, uh, I think it's April 8th. And uh, I'm literally like probably 30 miles north of Arkansas, Missouri borderline. And... I'm having a good day and uh, I'm gonna go check on some that I found this morning that were small that hopefully hopefully grew I don't know how fast they grow in a day um, guess we're gonna find out so another tip I think is a very important tip if not the most important one is when you do find that first morel take like 10 steps away from it and lose it out of your vision get it out of your peripheral and turn around and try to find it again because being out in the woods there's a lot to take in for your eyes probably more than anywhere else like any society any anywhere in civilization it's a lot easier on your eyes because look at all the grass look at all the grass and the leaves there's so much to look at so much for your eyes to just intake so one thing you can do if you want to, if you do want to be a successful morel hunter is uh, get out in the woods year round. Be out there as much as you can so your eyes can adjust uh, through muscle memory of what is out here, what looks weird, what's different. And you can spot anything. You can spot just random stuff. I spotted a frog. I've spotted a box turtle out of nowhere. I see lizards all the time. 
I'm looking at a butterfly right now. Like I said, one of the most important things is to train your eyes. So when you find that first morel, don't leave it. <laughs> I left my first one, but don't leave it. Like if you don't want to, don't leave it. You can if you want. But when you do find that first morel, do, the, do it once or twice where you walk away from it, lose it visually, and turn around and re-find it. Now be careful you don't step on it, but turn around and re-find it because you really do got to train your eyes. And that's very important. And everything has an edge. and So you really got to just train your eyes. I come out to the woods all the time, so I'm pretty good at spotting mushrooms because I know what, what not to look for and what not to look at. So it comes with a lot of training. I spend a lot of time out there. And as I'm recording... There's another one. So, I'm telling you, man, take my advice and uh, y'all can have success too. Happy hunting 2019. I'm having a good year so far. I'm having fun. And my season just began. Because I plan on following the season and getting off the trail. All right, a sticky stein out. And another thing, don't forget to subscribe and share my stuff. Uh, I'm pretty knowledgeable out here. I'm not the best, but. Uh, I'm learning and uh, I'd love for people to learn with me and, you know, comment, uh, tell me things that I can change and I'll do my best to help you all out. But uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Sticky Stein, and follow me on Facebook, Sticky Stein. You know where I'm at. I'm out in the woods.